Hey, it's Compel Productions here with another tutorial on how to get this background. What you're gonna need to do first is right click on your desktop, go to properties, and then go to the settings tab at the end to figure out your screen resolution size. And once you've got that covered, then you're ready to go. So then you're gonna open up Adobe Photoshop. and create a new document with your screen resolution size. Alright, mine is 1280 by 720 pixels and I'm just gonna click OK. Alright, so now once you got it open, you're going to take out your rulers, and you, if you don't have your rulers, just press Control r See, that just got rid of them, so if I press Control r again, it will bring them back. And you're going to drag from up here, uh, right about to the middle, and if that looks good, then good. I'm going to pick my foreground and background color. Alright, so I've got my color picked. And I'm going to go ahead and come over here with my marquee tool and drag a box just like that. So it hits the line, or it hits, uh, it snaps right to it. Then you're going to right click and go down to fill. And then you're going to go to background color or foreground. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to keep it on background. Alright, and then I'm going to select this area. and then fill it with our foreground color alright so now that I have my foreground color there you can deselect out of it and now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna move this back up since we probably won't be needing it anymore and then you're gonna come up here to filter distort and then go to wave now you're going to find a really good um, really good amount where it's straight up and down like that so let me find it real quick and then I will come back alright I think I found a good amount of waveness it's 696 for the generators, 66 and 66 for the wavelength, and 113 and 113, and then we have 100 and 100. Click OK. And then now we have our bars. And now we're going to go back to filter and distort except this time we are going to click on polar coordinates alright so now your settings should be rectangular to polar because if they were this this is how it would look so we want it to give it that tunnel looking effect alright alright um, so you click OK and then they should come up alright so now that we've 
done our polar coordinates and our bars. I think it's time to add in our logo. So you're going to click File, Place, and then go ahead and place on your logo. Alright, I think that's a little too big, so I'm going to go ahead and resize it and then come back. Alright, so once you've placed it in the spot that you want, you're going to click the check mark to place it. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and click a new layer. Alright, now we're going to give it that smoky effect. So what, you, so what we're going to do now is we are going to come to our foreground color and pick some white. Alright, so I've got my white picked. I click OK. Alright, and there we go. White. Alright. So now what you're going to do is you are going to go to your brush and find that smooth edge on the end, which I'm just going to use 27. With that smooth e edge on the end. No, I'm going to use. 21 actually all right and then you can come back and then you're good to go now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your pen and I'm going to zoom out one itty bitty all right and then you're going to take your pen tool and you're going to click outside the canvas inside hold it and drag all right and then you're just gonna go drag it again bring it to the other side come up you know what? I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and make the path real quick and come right. All right. So now that I've selected my path, I'm going to right click and stroke the path. Oops. I clicked on fill path. All right. So I've got it on stroke path. And you're going to go to your brush in the drop down menu. And then you make sure this simulate pressure is checked. Then you're going to come over here and click OK. Now you can see your lines have changed to this whitish color. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click, delete path, and make a new one. You can make as many as you like. I'll be right back when I finish. All right. So now that you have all of your um, lines finished, what you're going to do now is you're going to come over here to Opacity, and you're going to change the Opacity level to about 30. Alright, so I changed mine to about 46%, and that seems to be good. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click on Add a New um, Layer Mask, and then... We're going to go back to our brush and then come up and select a reasonable big size. Alright, so now that I selected a, a reasonable brush size, we're going to come over to our logo and just click around to erase the smoky effect on top of the logo. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so now I've done the t remove the smoky effect from on top of the logo so now we're pretty much finished and if you wanted to add text come to the text tool and select uh, uh, underneath it and then start typing some text comment rate and subscribe